I'm going to show you guys how to solve this question, which looks pretty complicated, but I'll tell you, this is just a typical high school math question for the students in Taiwan. Let's have a look. Right here we have a n, which is an arithmetic sequence, and we know the first term is 9, and the common difference is 8, and we are going to compute this expression. Now let's think about it. Are we really going to just compute each every term, maybe use a calculator and then add them up? No, of course not. There must be an easier way to do it. So let's think about it. First, we notice that we have square roots on the bottom. So maybe we can have a habit that just try to multiply the top and bottom by its conjugate and see what happens, right? So note that if we look at 1 over square root of a1 plus square root of a2, multiply this by its conjugate, which is a minus in between, and do the same thing on the top. Then, for the bottom, we just have to square the first and then minus square the second. So we just have a1 minus a2. Square square root cancel, so that's what we have. And the top is still that. Square root of a1 minus square root of a2. Hmm. If I do that for the rest, okay, so what though? Can't really seem to combine anything. Well, this one key thing that you have to know. A n is a what? It's an arithmetic sequence. So what's the property for that? Well, we have a common difference, meaning that we just keep adding the same number over and over to produce the terms in the sequence. And if you look at a1 minus a2, let's take a look. a1 is 9. Because the common difference is 8, so the next term is going to be 17. Right? a1, a2. And then the next term is going to be just keep adding 8, which is 25, and so on. If we do a1 minus a2, a1 minus a2, 9 minus 17 in this order, we actually get... 8. Technically, we add 8 from here to here, but if we do a1 minus a2, it's negative 8. It's just the negative common difference here. Likewise, if you do this minus that, you just get negative 8. So, in fact, this denominator is going to be negative 8. And if we do the same thing for all this right here, all the denominators will be negative 8, which is very good. So now, let's just multiply everybody by its conjugate and then see what happens. So for the first one, we will have that square root of a1 minus square root of a2 over negative common difference, which is negative 8. And then we add the next term, the conjugate is square root of a2 minus square root of a3. Over a2 minus a3 on the bottom, but we know that's negative 8. And then continue the next one, square root of a3 minus square root of a4 over the same thing. Ah, this is very nice. So this question is designed so that you will have to know this right here. You really have to understand what makes a sequence arithmetic. And the last one, square root of a20 minus square root of a21 over negative 8. Now, have a look. Because they all have the same denominator, we can kind of factor that out. So we can have the 1 over negative 8 all the way in the front. And then just look at the top. What's happening? First term by itself. This we have negative square root of a2. And then we add positive square root of a2. They cancel each other out. Continue this plus that, again, they cancel out. This is going to cancel with the next one, and so on, so on, so on, right? And then this is going to be canceled with the term in the front as well. I just didn't write it down, but it's going to be out as well. So once you put them together, we just have square root of a1 minus square root of a21. Very nice, huh? Not done yet, of course, because we still have to figure out, okay, we have a1 is 9, that's fine. So we have negative 1 over 8 times square root of 9 minus, what's 
A21 though. Well, note again, A21 will be what? Let's think about it instead of just using the formula. What we need to do is, we must start with the first term, which is A1, and then we have to add the common difference how many times? In order to get to 21, we have to add the common difference 20 times. So we just have to multiply by 20 and then times the common difference. Here is a formula. Technically, this is n minus 1. It's always going to be like that. Right. A1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference. Anyways, A1 is 9 plus 20 times the common difference, which is 8. So on all, that's 169. Put that in here. Okay. So this right here is, of course, 3. And this is 13. So 3 minus 13 is negative 10 over negative 8. Let me still put a negative right here then, I guess. And then finally, reduce the fraction, divide the top and bottom by 2, negative 2. So we have positive 5 over 4. And we are done.